Hi, this is Maggie. I am making this quick little video is kind of a pre-step one, how to set up for the stitch along we have going on in our Facebook group. What we're going to do is have everybody work from the same cross stitch chart, although people who are more comfortable with the programs can truly choose any chart they like. And we're going to take you step by step how to open the program, open cross stitcher, load up the chart, put the stitches onto the program, and get you right up to exporting for a stitch out. What I'm going to do today is go over to the website and show you how to download a free cross stitch pattern. And I'll actually highlight a few of my other favorite places to get free cross stitch charts. Now, the other thing is for those of you who are artistic, if you draw on a piece of graph paper and you don't even have to buy graph paper, you can actually Google graph paper and you'll find there are places to download a printout of graph paper. And if you draw on a graph paper, you could load your own chart and make a cross stitch from that. So there's a lot of options. I'm not covering everything about cross stitcher. This stitch along again is going to be the load from a chart bit. Okay, folks, let's go over to the website. Now this one I found through, and I actually should open a window for gathered, gather.how, which is a UK site that a lady named Carolyn and our group shared with us, and it's actually full of beautiful cross stitch charts for free. And they linked over here, and I have downloaded the charts, and there is nothing wrong with this website. Now, a few, since they're Halloween witchy images, may bother you, and I wouldn't actually worry about it. And you'll see we have the links in the Facebook group. I actually have a file with all these different sites, plus the gather.how site with free charts. And when you scroll down her site, now I've done the blood moon already and the reason is that some of these are close to six by seven and five by six and i'm going to do three pieces and you can download any one you like the one the group is going to work on is pumpkin spice and it's the anthony Bourdain quote i would like to see the pumpkin spice craze drowned in its own blood and i just think that's funny and I like it. And now since I want the chart, I just click download. And what happens is on this site, now different sites handle it differently. Some make you sign up and some make you go through a cart. On this site, you'll notice I don't see how to download at this point and I move my cursor a little bit down into the middle and there's my download button. The arrow down in the circle, this is how you download the chart and you just click it. On a Mac, it doesn't come back and make a click sound or say anything. What you can do on the Mac, if you wanna see if you got it, is go to your downloads folder. And, I, and you'll see I have the chart there. Okay, so that's how you download on this site. You can download as many as you like. The other one that we're focusing on with the group is this sad pumpkin. And I have a lot of tabs open here, you can see, so uh, things may be a little bit slow every now and then. And we're also doing the down, the sad pumpkin. And now the sad pumpkin is down, uh, going to download in a couple of page PDF. And we'll be showing you how to get just the one page you need to load. The glen, again, just click this little download button and it will be there. And I can just go back. Some of you might enjoy this little guy. This is Boo Sheet. You could leave the 2020 off if you just like that kind of an image. So this is the Witchy Stitcher Freebies. A lot of these people have shops on Etsy where they sell more detailed designs. I'm gonna close her. This is DMC. Most of you have heard of it because of their cross stitch threads and they're an extremely large company not extremely um, 
as far as global companies, but they're a big company in the embroidery area. And you'll see that this is their freebies page. Again, we have a file, so you can link to it from within the Facebook group. And you can also know that when you load a chart, like the Christmas tree here, you choose what to make your design. So if you don't fill in the snow globe part, you could just have the tree with the snow underneath. And they have lots of different ones. This site, I'm pretty sure, will s makes you sign in and go through a cart. I could be wrong. Let's see what happens. Again, sorry about the time, but I have quite a bit going on right now on the desktop. Oh, no, they do let you. This is it. It says download free. And when you give them your email, it doesn't take it unless you click newsletter yes. So at least that's what happened to me. I gave them my email. If I didn't click newsletter, it just didn't come back. It wanted me to do the, the newsletter. You'll see you can get the kit with the fabric and the threads and everything. But the download pattern by itself, put the email, click yes on the newsletter. And later you can unsign up for it if you want. This one is also in the group. I added it because Sue Hillis is really well known and she um, does some cross stitch patterns that are already available as machine embroidery from Sudbury um, Machine Embroidery Company. And she did this swirly snow pattern. And when you click on it, it comes right up to the chart. And you'll notice this chart isn't in color, but that's okay. It's just a few colors, and when we place X's, you have to know which color you want where. And part of the chart on the site, again, over here you have to see, you have to move, it doesn't show, it shows like magic. And these she actually did in one color, so that was different stitches as far as hers were going with whether or not it was a cross or a half stitch or a little line. And again, we can co cover that later. Now this is Sulky and they have this really cute Halloween gnome I've already highlighted in the group and we've given you a link for, and again, it's in the pattern. So we'll click the link for what about this Halloween tree? And on them, again, nice, easy download. Don't have to sign up or anything, just click download and you'll get the, the chart for this pattern and we're going to click out of there this one is a blog for somebody stitchy fish fish who sells on etsy and if you didn't want a halloween one there's this really cute biscorny for fall that you could download and hers does not have a download button on a mac i can do save image to downloads and this whole picture comes up now on a PC, you might have to use your snipping tool or your screen print tool. And again, if you need that, we'll put how to do it in the Facebook group. So we're out of there. This one, Amanda Gregory also sells her designs and this is just a lovely, um, make my screen bigger there, lovely leaf fall cross stitch. And she's got the chart and then she has the instructions with the colors below that. So you would want to grab both pages and you click on it and you see it's just that. So again, it would be for me, save image. And for you on a PC, again, maybe screen print or snipping tool. You see, because there's no download loads up, she just lets you figure out how you're going to grab it. And this one, another fall one, in case somebody didn't want. And part of what I'm picking out is simple ones. They don't have too many colors, and that's what I was going to show you. I need to, let's see, I knew there was something else I wanted to show you, and I didn't open it before I started. And this is that, uh, let's see. Mm, where's the PDF? I have, okay, so 
This is from Leisure Arts and you can buy that pattern. They have a booklet and uh, we can discuss it more in the Facebook group again. But this chart comes in four pieces and actually I think by the time you stitch it out it's like 100,000 stitches or something. It's really intensive and it has lots and lots of colors and if you are beginning with cross stitcher don't try this. <laughs> This is something for somebody who's done a few other charts and has a lot of patience to do. So when I'm linking you so far, I'm linking you to charts that are really cute and that be simple to do. Whereas the Leisure Arts one, uh, they are made for hand stitching and they're made for people who want the counted cross stitch or the colored charts. And they are possible to do on your machine this one actually comes out bigger than the 360 hoop so it would involve um, pattern placement as well and i did want to highlight that that when you see something with a lot of shading see how the squirrels are all one color here and just two colors for the pumpkin that it's going to be a bit more evolved and if you're advanced and you're good with pattern placement for a multi-page chart go for it you can work along with us but if you're not give yourself a break and start with one of the simple charts that we're talking about and hers so you click on the chart let's see i think this one you might just click this page oh no something's loading there we go and again there's no download this is again uh, save image to downloads for me and for you snip or print the page to get the whole page for those of you with a PC. Now this one, Fat Quarter Shop, and a lot of us have shopped with them for fabric. They have quite a few, and we've linked only, you can see free cross stitch patterns. So there's the sun, there's the boot crew that I already did and I shared in the group. They have a Christmas stitch along, and the thing is you'll see there's a part one, part two, part three, and when you go to part four, Usually you can get all the pieces of the pattern and they're really nice. They don't make you sign in. You can just say, I'm going to download the PDF. And you'll see there it went flying away into my system. So you have this um, Merry Little Christmas. And as I said, the Boo Crew was a really sweet one. The Boo Crew, I've searched on cross stitch charts this also comes as in a quilt pattern and we've got some people did it in different colors which was really pretty but this is the boot crew and again links will be in the file in the facebook group and the last one i was going to show you is the snowflower diaries and she also has quite a few cute little her little winter witch and i'll open this as a new tab and the other one was her january stitch along and we'll open that it's a cute little fox and i'll go over to her little witch here so you can see that that's her december witch and she shows you lots of angles of the stitch out and there's the chart so you click on that and you'll see again, you just get a bunch of pictures. So you really do have to, on a Mac, save image to downloads. And on a PC, again, snipping tool, print the screen, um, whatever choice you like. If you have trouble with that and you're on a PC, pop into the group and people will tell you their favorite ways to grab them. This other one also from Snowflower Diaries is, um, her January image with a fox and a crow and she does it in a few different languages but again it's kind of like the 20 or 20 you don't have to put January in there maybe you just like the fox and the crow and when we're placing the X's you could just leave that off because this isn't automatic you can add and subtract anything you want from the charts so that's what I wanted to show you in this particular quick video is just how to download a chart and i think i've already mentioned if you're artistic you can draw on graph paper and it will be the same process 
So maybe as we go through this stitch along, you want to try loading a chart somebody else did, and you want to grab a piece of graph paper and make a little drawing and try that as well. So come on and join us on Facebook. Bye-bye.